It's like a little roller coaster. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. Now that we've got some audio, we can uh, actually succeed at doing these videos. Okay. We are here today in a rather strange pose for a reason. Uh, it doesn't have a name no. that I know of. But, believe it or not, this is probably a yoga pose. Or, we are making it a yoga pose right now. Yeah, that's a good point, Clifton. So, guys... <laughs> The reason why we're in this pose, if you haven't figured it out yet, is we want to kind of emphasize a certain point with you, and that is that the yoga poses that you do don't have to be named. They don't have to have a Sanskrit name and an English name. They don't have to have a specific way of doing them. Anything you do with your body can be a yoga pose. Remembering yoga is as much the state of mind that you bring to the pose as the pose itself. So anything your body is really asking for can be a good yoga pose. And your body is unique to the whole universe. So, it might be asking for a completely unique pose, which is fine. And that being said, uh, when you're like in a yoga class or something, and a teacher is offering up something that just doesn't work for you, or maybe you have a slightly different modification that you want to use, when you're in the class and you realize that, you then have a choice of either doing the pose or following the teacher's instructions. That kind of depends on your relationship and with the class that you're in, the instructor, how are they gonna feel about it? And again, I encourage you always to find what's best for you. That being said, you might recognize it in the class and go practice it afterward. Uh, really, it is what works best for you. You'll know what it feels like in the class. You'll know mm -hmm. if the teacher is okay with you modifying. You'll also know that there is no right and wrong way to do poses, again, as we have said before. There are safer ways and less safe ways, but that doesn't mean that the poses are right and wrong, and there can be an infinite number of poses. So, so long as you're getting what you need, that's what's important. And so if sitting like this on the ground is what you need, do it. There's no, there's no reason not to. And uh, so if you, you, know, you find yourself sitting on the floor in your living room, uh, watching TV, doing whatever, and you feel like you need to go into a pose or uh, a certain uh, go play. shape, do it. Yeah, do it. There's no reason not to. So, uh, yeah, we're just trying to emphasize that you should feel the freedom, have freedom to do what your body needs it to do, and that's what's important about uh, your yoga practice, really. So give somebody a high five or a low five. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, sit like a frog or a fat cat. We can't decide what it looks like, so why don't you, you let us know? Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.